are coming out. Those are actually two of the pairs. They love a return and they remove third party energy. So those meditation videos, you definitely want to play this weekend. Um, and I got you guys. So let's talk about what's happening. We have Mars squaring off Neptune. So we're having some uh, aggression and delays happening. Be careful of accidents on the road. Be careful of the change of the weather. The roads might be a little bit different, slicker. People are um, a little bit more looser in the energy, more excited, not paying attention which is huge because the moon is in Pisces. I love you, Pisces. Um, you're a collective sign, very powerful sign, but you're also uh, out of it, okay? So with that Neptune energy is gonna be coming with strong feelings, um, distraction. You're gonna be distracted by yourself, let's face it. Even myself, I noticed that I was getting myself ready. I was like, wait a minute, I'm dilly-dallying. <laughs> what am I doing? That's not like me, you know? But that's okay. Rome wasn't built in a day. The energy is telling you to relax, to pause, to really slow down, okay? So it's okay if you want to stay inside, do something else, keep it low key of the energy. Long-term trips, road trips, if you still have to go, by all means, just because the astrology says, hey, most likely uh, this could lead to that, you still gotta live your life, you still gotta go to work, you still gotta go drive to do things. So uh, that being said, just be careful. Notice that people are going to be aggressive out there. If somebody is, let them pass. <laughs> if you see it outside, know that, okay, this is what's going on. Uh, but there's going to be strong feelings with these relationships. So that's another reason why I released these new meditation videos to help you navigate third-party energy from your relationships, okay? Because... Um, there are going to be some negativity happening today. Now, if you watch my live videos, you know I'm always telling you the energy weekly is on YouTube as well as I go live day by day to kind of help you, guide you through this full moon. But just like anything, we're about to hit up to the season finale, right? The season finale by anything gives us comfort, closure uh, of endings of things, right? However, before we can get there, comes truth, becomes awareness, realization. That happens today. So feelings of the past, feelings of emotional might get the best of you. So that's why it's maybe not as best to put your, yourself out there as much because you might be feeling frustrated, irritated, depressed. Let's just be honest. It's a Pisces moon energy. It triggers all of it. Uh, Pisces moon are known, if you have a Pisces moon, drop it in here, uh, but they're known to have a certain kind of heaviness to them. Um, they're not necessarily gloom and doom, but there is excess. There's excess energy that if, if it's not worked out, it could lead to addiction, it could lead to frustration, it could lead to affairs, it could lead to a uh, different kind of releasement that you have to have consequences, that are consequences, right? It's all fun in the heat of the moment, but right, if you do not take account for what you're doing, you might really have to go back and pay for this action, for this energy. So that's why this is a huge, strong influence because there's this restless type energy that sits with some people. And it might be sitting with you, it might be sitting with your partner, um, or maybe it might be sitting with your children. There's something that is feeling tired, upset, and irritated, emotionally speaking, okay? And once that desire of attention, all right, it's, it's, let's just face it, it does. It wants to harmonize that balance during this sun and Libra season with this full moon in Aries. So it's like, which side needs to be more nurtured? And it's going to be a balancing act of yourself and other people. So it's a lot. It really is. So you can understand if you premature do something in the heat of anger, okay? Because we have Mars um, in Gemini, and it is not comfortable there. It is a rebel in Mars, okay? Uh, it's like poking, pulling the feathers, as I call it, because it knows it pisses it off. It knows it's angry. It knows if I say this, most likely <laughs> I'm going to get into trouble. So 
and it's in the the love and it's in the seventh house of libra which is like squaring uh the sun of libra so it is testing relationships there is energy testing relationships like it could be something so simple as you're out and about with your partner y'all have a small little scruff nothing big you're out in public and somebody walks by and your partner just happens to check them out and you're just like fuck f this f you you never pay attention i mean like in a waterfall of emotions from like every single thing you've ever been felt or everything that's ever needs to be addressed in relationship just comes out it's at a critical degree 22 degree meaning things that are done and said this weekend can make and break relationships big time and i'm talking about strong powerful relationships marriages people have been married for a very long time and then all of a sudden something just comes to light and it just ends it so there is that test so i am open i'm actually open for same day services and if you do need anything please let me know because if you catch yourself in a position where you just mouth off okay and just say something because gemini is in mars and it is tempted to be like you know what f you you ain't no, you ain't shit and then you go back and you're like i'm sorry i said it in the heat of the moment let's really talk about what's bothering us but it's gonna be too late it's gonna be too late at that point so meaning it's going to be really really hard to backtrack that energy it could be done if you come see me but it's going to be hard right so what's something positive that we do have happening well pluto has been in capricorn retrograde it's finally ending tomorrow finally it's going direct and when we have that kind of direction tr changing directions pivoting directions it's a slow turn but it's going to be in the second house, okay? So this is going to be big energy going with the full moon. Understand this, people. This is a huge energy shift. Huge energy shift. This is going to change your life, okay? When you have Taurus energy, when you have Aries energy, when you have this, this is a, this is a recipe for fuckery, okay? Let's just, I'm going to be honest with you. It really is. So where you once were, as much as you were working hard for it, if you literally just spout off of energy and think that you're, what you say and what you do do not have consequences, or you feel like you can backtrack and just like fix it later on, it's not going to be the case. Okay, so people who are going through transformations or have been through transformations, I'm talking about Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Libras, that have been going through transformation. If you, and I know you're frustrated and I know you're beat down, but you can't throw in the towel and take people with you. That's the issue here. Because it's so tempted to be like, man, F this, F that, F you. If I'm going down, you're going down with me. And, and it's a very selfish energy. So you're going to have people being very self-motivated. Be like, you know what? I need to make a change. Change needs to happen in this relationship. A change needs to happen with me. It's a compromise of unity of energy. It's understanding that you both have personal positives, but also personal negatives that can be worked on. Great workable energy. Very transparent. But not everybody has that level of shadow work. Not everybody can see themselves outside themselves. People run away. People have blockages. And they say, F this, F you, F the situation, I'm out. But when really they're hurting inside, they really need help. They really need their partner to express, extend. So there is going to be a mixture of that. So if you're dealing with a partner right now that has those kind of blockages, you really want to come see me. Because it's going to kind of help alleviate some of that fighting of basically help them express their blockages. And that's something I do have a lot of experience with. So you're going to have that. But if you do see that in your partner, encourage them that there is a safe place that they can express themselves, that it's okay if they get it wrong. Because when you're just like children, like when I'm talking to my kiddos and I'm like just... When we say just tell me what's wrong or tell me how you're feeling sometimes it just 
you know, like how, where do I start? Even us as adults, I, you know, you just describe, well, if, if you could say anything, how, how would you feel? What do you, what does it look like? What does it feel like? You know, what do you, what do you need? What's the first thing that you think of comfort, you know? So there are some workarounds that you can. Now, watch my video for the love spell frequency as well as removing third-party energy away from your relationship. That is going to be airing Saturday, just in time for the full moon, as well as when this Pluto goes direct. You can play that. You can loop it all day long. And what that is going to do is increase the energy of expression in a good, helpful, safe, positive energy that both of you can embrace. Okay, so now this is the time also of manifestations. I'm going to give you guys a heads up. I'm, you're my friends. I'm always letting you know the end. Now, after this, after this full moon, we're coming up to a new moon eclipse. And... That is going to be very tricky to manifest, okay? It's usually not the simple, hey, it's a new moon. I'm going to write down my manifestations. I'm going to get my money bowl going. It's going to be a little tougher. So I'm giving you the end. I'm giving you the tips. I want you to start manifesting now. Thinking about your core purpose, what is intimate to you, and what can you discover. Those three points, okay? Write those down. I'll try to come back to this video to, to highlight this. But those are the key things that you want to, to do as well as maintenance the relationship of what's going on. With doing so, coming into the Scorpio new moon eclipse is going to be a collection of your manifestations that you've already been working on because you took the choice to your personal self to help manifest and maintain a relationship, a universal relationship, okay? So it's going to pay off. And there's some things that you're going to find out that did not work out with relationships are going to also happen within eclipses. A lot of time, relationships that are established during the Mercury retrograde are usually ended by the eclipse. Why? Because the communication and the frequency is not exactly met. It's almost like two different people met at two different timelines and happened to weave together and then go off on passing. Again, come see me. That's another different phenomenon. Doesn't mean you're not meant to be. It's just a different frequency. So there is a lot happening, a lot going on in the universe. The shift. Notice when you go outside your environment, yes, we are in fall, but it is a distinct difference. Night, literally night and day. Now, I want you to feel like you're capable. I want you to feel like you're powerful. I want you to feel like that you have a sense of harmonizing energy that you know what suits you. I do not want you to lie to yourself. Aries, one thing that I love about Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rises, is that they know thyself. They don't lie to themselves, okay? Aries are very self-motivated, ambitious people. They don't care if they're not liked. They don't care if they're not invited. They go what suits them. Now, that is very selfish energy, very powerful energy, and it can be positive and negative, just like with any signs. So as you can see, this redefiance of power, of self-empowerment can go different ways, depending on how comfortable you are with your shadow work and how much you use your sense of capability to self-empower as well as be a teammate. Okay, that's another thing Aries are known for as well, is that they do are encouraging and they are teammates. Like, come on, man, let's, let's do this together. We can. So there's some integrity that is going to be very positive that is going to come from these shifts of change. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to feel this. Now, we have the nodes of faith, destiny. I've been feeling it, my, my friends, my guys, oh my gosh, even myself, I've been going through it. And the destiny of fate, things that are changing, things that are shifting, 
our world that we know it, the world that we once knew that we had to adapt to. Okay, let's face that. We had to socially adapt. The age of Aquarius is done. Now we're kind of dumped on the doorstep of what do, what do we do? So there's a lot of mental health and mental illness, and there's a lot of awareness. Your partner, people around you not might not be saying, hey, I'm hurting, I'm mentally struggling. So be gentle with this energy. That is why during this full moon, you might notice that some people might act immaturely, run, uh, comfort themselves in different ways. And, you know, this is something we all have been and grown through. We're not just born with knowing how to socially and emotionally take care of each other, let alone ourselves. So have understanding, right? There's that Libra moon energy that harmonize negotiations, communications, that of the heart. Now, because of this Pisces moon energy, um, it gives us the option to pay attention and to connect with other people, right? Because we can. Pisces are very kind. They're very sweet, um, you know, creatures when they realize, hey, there's something in front of me, you know, because they're very, like, even though the world is vast, they can be very narrow focus, hyper focus. Um, so that's the thing. If you are hurting and the person literally might, right next to you doesn't think that you are, it's because you're probably masking really tough, you know, that you're fine and it's okay. It's okay. I'm even telling that to myself. It is okay to tell people, yo, I need to die. I need a day off. <laughs> you know, it's okay. Do something for yourself. Um, myself, I'm going to be an example. I'm going to exercise. I'm actually coming back from an injury. It always happens. I even told myself here, um, when I got overzealous, I was getting for it, going for it. And I even knew I needed to chill out. And I like twisted my tricep. I did something, um, mildly, but I bumped my elbow outside. So it was just like a collection of things. So finally, basically where I'm getting at this is that I feel good to exercise, right? You know, I understand that I haven't been able to exercise the fast, fast past few days. And now I can, right? So I shouldn't be stuck about what I didn't happen a few days ago. You can take care of now. So don't worry about the past in a sense. Don't dwell on the past. Be inspired. Be motivated. If you didn't get to do your errands, if you didn't get to go to the beauty salon, if you didn't get to get your nails done, if you didn't get to wash your hair, you know what I'm saying. Now is the time to do what you want to do. Self-care, self-love, self-expression, motivation, so you can face your partners, your relationships, the thing, the world, work, uh, stuff like that. But as well, of course, understand that everybody else, just as well you, yourself, is confused, maybe a little frustrated, and dealing with it, right? We're all going through it. But still, I'm still validating. I'm still validating what you're going through. So remember that. What you're going through, even though everybody else is going through their own shit, it's still validated. Still validated. So how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? How are you feeling the energy? Are you having any plans for the full moon? Um, we are in October. So tell me how you feel about that. Um, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and type the comments. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for participating in the live. I appreciate it. Make sure that you click the link in my bio. You're going to take a look at the YouTube video, the things that I have. Now, um, the email was sent out. There is a coupon code that you can use, everybody can use for the month of October. And that is Stardust11, just so you know. That is a coupon code if you would like to get even um, a spell or a tarot card reading for you. There you go. Plan is to watch Hocus Pocus, bake, and yeah, that sounds like a nice weekend. We're going to be making cookies. I think I actually got the text. I need to go inside. I'm going to start decorating some Halloween cookies myself. I watched that movie, but I didn't last 
the, I, I'm watching the last 20 minutes, I think, we fell asleep. It's, it was, so far, it was pretty good. I miss you, too. Hey, thank you for coming. Saturday, you got it. Okay. Thank you for following. Thank you. Hi. Yeah, this is a reading for everybody. Thank you for giving me a follow. Hi, everybody. Good morning. With, uh, wait, both of these meditations are linked in your bio or on YouTube? Both. Both. Yeah, so on my bio, there's a link tree with access to all of my links. Um, and you're going to see those there. Yes, I am doing private readings, uh, tarot card readings this weekend. They only take about 72 hours. So if you want to do that, my schedule is open. Make sure you use that coupon code stardust11. That was what that email was. You fell asleep. Yes, that is correct. That is the coupon code. And that is for all of October. All of October, so meaning you can use it once, you can use it twice um, if, if you need to be. So kind of my way to say thanks, trick or treat, right? No tricks, I'll treat. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, the crisp bear, for sure. And it started to rain here, which I was like, I woke up and I was like, I actually like rainy, dark mornings, but then only for so long. Then it's like, okay, where's my sunshine? So right for as of right now, I'm enjoying it. Yes, as you can see, I'm in my robe. I got my jammies on. I got my Nirvana shirt on. Oh yeah, my new glasses. Guys, something that during Mercury Retrograde, pretty crazy. I got a new set of glasses. These were the ones that I, I picked out two different pair and they put through both pairs and I, I got a big discount for one of them or something. I don't know, it was a big mix up, but it ended up in my favor. I was very polite and patient and they told me that and I ended up with two pairs of glasses. So I thought that was pretty super cool. <laughs> right after Mercury uh, Direct, no one should have to go to the eyeglass place and three times uh, within two hours. <laughs> they were very nice to me. And I got new glasses. Yeah. Tell me the snacks from Trader Joe's that you like for the holidays. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, oh, my mouth is even watering. Mm. I really wanna see if they have the crackle or any of the holiday, uh, the, the treats. Now, I can't do milk chocolate because, you know, of my stupid dairy thing, but dark chocolate is not as uh, bad on my stomach. Like I can eat a little bit of like dark chocolate here and there without like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like blowing up. Uh, yeah, any dark chocolate holiday stuff. And I also like uh, the, the coffee and the teas that they had. That was really cool. Y'all are making me hungry. That sounds so good. Hi. How's it going, the popcorn? Yes, we actually have to go to Trader Joe's. One thing I love there that I recommend everybody buy is the, this garlic salt uh, parsley seasoning. And it's the freaking best. And when we go in there, we buy like three of them at a time. They're $2. And they're good on everything. Everything. I love to eat. My moon sign is in the second house. I'm a moon in Gemini, but it's in the second house. And if you, that's Taurus energy. And I literally, I, it's like a romantic eyes kind of thing. Like I love to eat. I love to cook. I love going out to eat. I love the way it's displayed. I love certain aromas. Like I am a foodie. I'm a big foodie. Like it's crazy because I've met um, other foodies and they totally get it. Uh, I, my daughter though, my Pisces, <laughs> has no earth at all. Not one drop of earth element in her chart. And let's just, no, not a foodie. As long as there's food, she don't give a shit. Like she will, you feed her a peanut, peanut butter jelly sandwich, she'll eat it, she won't complain she she'll go along with the ride me it's like i ain't no fucking peanut butter <laughs> oh i ain't no peanut butter sandwich 
Make me a steak. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't know if you're like that. There's some people who are like, who are not foodies and they can eat anything, anywhere. I'm not like that. <laughs> I'm quite the opposite. I'm very, I've always have been, even when I was poor, uh, when I can only afford canned spaghetti sauce, that was the only thing that was in my budget, I would still add some kind of like fresh basil or element or do something or I would place it in a nice little dish that I found at Goodwill and make it all fancy. <laughs> yeah, oh really, yeah. I love food. I'm a big foodie. Nothing says I love you like a food gift card. <laughs> People are like, what do you want us for a gift? I'm like, they're like, a gift card for clothes? I'm like, no, food, barbecue sauce. People, I love barbecue sauce as a gift. Oh, barbecue sauces from different states, uh, hot sauce. I'm not a big fan of hot sauce just because it hurts my tummy, but barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce from Tennessee, barbecue sauces from all over the place. Texas. Look at that hand. That's that, oh, that's that Taurus energy just popped on out. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello there. Hi, everybody. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I laugh. I laugh. Taurus energy. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I'll, I'll download this video and edit it later just in case you missed out uh, and upload it on YouTube for the astrology daily reading. But I did a weekly reading. If you want to jump ahead and find out what's going to happen tomorrow, I've already done a reading on my YouTube channel. So, also, uh, I have a microphone coming. I'm very excited. Yay. Uh, I started to record your readings, as you can probably hear me now. It's kind of echoey. Uh, I realize that. I listen to you, and I want to get you better audio quality. So, I have a uh, just a simple microphone um, that I'm going to plug in and do that for you. So yay, just so you know, working on it, getting better guys. Yeah, thanks for sharing, you're welcome. All right guys, well, I'm gonna get back. Um, I, have a, I have a full schedule for this weekend. So if you would like to join it, go for it. You can use that coupon code if you like, uh, if you need to see me, all right. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Understand that there's a lot of things going on. And like I said, I'll replay this video uh, so you can watch it later. And also, your love spell meditation is out. Your remove third-party energy from your relationship is going to go live tomorrow morning. So I'll see you again, and I'll see y'all again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.